1041. Welcome and have a great shift. X-ray 222. Got you in route. Code 99. All units respond. 10-4. Notifying air. We have reports of a suspect that is armed and dangerous. Units, please remain in the area. Dispatch copy is suspect in custody. Hello to one and all. Welcome in and back into the channel. I appreciate you all coming by. I hope and help you all out anyway, shape, form, or fashion. Let's go ahead and dive right into this. Okay, so we're going to install three important um, um, files for our um, LSPDFR that we got to have. Or maybe GTA 5 is too as well. I don't play GTA 5. I do play the LSPDFR version of it, all right? So uh, what am I? What am I exactly? What I'm talking about here? I'm actually talking about the heap adjuster, the pack limit adjuster, and your game config. All right, that's that's what I'm talking about. And and not only we're we gonna put it in, I'm gonna I'm gonna give I'm gonna try to give you all a little uh, um, meaning on this too, because there's a lot of people um, I've been I've been helping this week that do not understand. Uh, why do you have to have heap adjuster and your pack limit adjuster and stuff like that? So I'm hoping this video will help you all out. Alright, so the first download link you're going to click on below, which is going to be your heap adjuster 1.0. Alright, and what does this mean, alright? So what this means here is I looked up um, this for Google.com is where I got this from, alright? So what this means here is um this heap adjuster mod increases the game memory location preventing crashes when running multiple mods so in other words you got your weapons mod you got your um vehicle mods you got your call out mods um you got your uh pad mods you know stuff like that um um main and two as well the more you put in the more you put in without this uh, heap adjuster, the more you're going to crash. All right. Now that's that's how that's how I'm reading it right there too as well. So what this here does is actually rec um, increases the memory on this too. So this is a must get. So go ahead and download the file, download that tab right there, and then uh, let's move on to the next thing, which is going to be your pack limit adjuster uh 1.2 all right this this right here has not been updated for a long time i think the last time it was updated was 2022 nearly three years ago so and it still works for a current version of 3586 all right now what there's here what does this here do it increases the number of rpf files that the game can handle this prevents mm -hmm. This prevents um, crashes and errors, especially with a large number of mods that is added. Replace game files that it is allowed to, lo to load more RPF files. All right. So right now, if I bring up my um, open four here, all right. If I bring up this open four. And now if I go, say, like if I go to my one of my, one of my um, vehicle mods right here, all right, this is going to be a vehicle, all right? This is going to have the RPL, all right? And that's what that means right there. The more you put in your vehicles and your, and your vehicles and stuff like that, without this uh, pack limit adjuster, the more you're going to crash. So, and it also expands the memory on this one too as well so that's so, so that's what this means right here so this is a must get to as well go ahead and click on your download tab there and click on the next download tab the next thing you need next is going to be your um game config um legacy and enhance but we just did um we did with the legacy if you are lspdr lspdfr player for money for for the money fronts, all right. So what this here means too as well. Well, what this here means is the game config is is crucial. Manage games stability, especially when adding mods. It's a XML file 
that contain settings allowed you to customize how you handle various elements, all right, like vehicle capability and your memory location, all right. So, pretty much um, here, too, as well, not only you got to have this pack limit adjuster here, all right, go, not only you got to have that pack limit adjuster, you know, for uh, RPF files, but this is going to help, help the memory and this is going to help the memory too of this game config for your XML files, just like your lots. All right. So if I come back down here to my open four, and if I go to ELS on my open four, this is your XML files right here. All right. And then you got some XM, XML files that also goes in to the to the main directory too as well. All right. And then just like your uh, Rage Danner UI, um, that one's got a DL, um, that one's got a um, um, XML. Your script put the dot net. It's also got XML two files as well. So you all might, might want to keep that in mind too when you're thinking about putting this game config in. All right, that's how I'm. That, you know, that's how I'm reading it for this game. So this is a must-have get. Go ahead and download the tab there. Download that tab. And the last thing we're going to do is I'm just going to tell you about it. It's going to be your open four. You must have open four to put your game config inside of your open four. That's the only way, as far as I know, that goes inside of your open four. Look on the top right-hand corner of your screen. The pop-out box is going to pop out. Showing you all how to uh, download Open 4 and to install it as a short video, too, as well. All right. So you get all three of these files, whip it out on your desktop, and remember, I always open up and run wire. All right. So we need two things open. Go ahead and click on your Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. Come down here to your file explorer and click on that Grand Theft Auto 5 um, pin to quick access. All right. I say everybody knows how to do it by now. So just in case you don't, look on the top right-hand corner of your screen. You're going to see a pop-out box. It's going to pop out, showing you all how to pin your Grand Theft Auto 5 pin to quick access. It is much faster to get to. Okay, the second thing we need is our open four. Mine's already open. Go ahead and click on that. Grand, go ahead and click on your open four tab or down there your pants. Uh, on down on your taskbar, always recommending your taskbar and click on that Grand Theft Auto 5 for Windows and let that be loading on in. All right, and then let me go back to here. All right, now go ahead and open up your heap adjuster, <clears throat> I and I file, and you're gonna um, you go ahead. Oh, your rim wire. I'm sorry, and as you as you can tell, there's ASI and I and I in this one. All right, this here goes in. To your main directory so all you're going to do is left click drag it down here to your main directory and then simply let it file uh, and if you install this for the first time it's not going to ask you this but i'm going to replace mine in the destination all right second one we're going to do is pack limit adjuster right here and click on your uh, asi and your ini file left control and click you don't need this remake all right Take both of these files, left click, drag it down here to your um, main directory, and just simply let it fall in. And like I said before, if it doesn't um, ask you all to re, um, replace, you must re-download it for the first time. I'm just going to replace mine. All right. Now, go, now go ahead and close out that file, and you can, you can go ahead and close out of your main directory. Last thing we want to do is game config. For the money fronts uh, version 35, go ahead and be opening that, that one up there. And then go ahead and let me open up my open four right there. Give me just a second here. Let me make this ready. And then what you guys is going to do is um, come over here to your open four. And then you're going to uh, navigate to your uh, following folders and files inside of this uh, open four to get to our game config. Click on mods, click on update, go to update.rpf, go to common, and go to data. 
this is your um this is where your gang config is at right down there all right that's what your gang config is at but what i'm going to do is um come back over here to your rim wire or seven zip and go ahead and click on this gta config 35 for money fronts and you always want to get more mods just like i just talked about there the 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 more you put in the more you're not going to crash now i'm lying right there all right because everybody crashes if you got this or not all right now this is be straight up with it you want to crash with this or not but to prevent more and more and more crashes the more you put in the more you want to crash without without all these files all right so you want to go for more mods and then right down here all right now me i always get the stock traffic means gta base now i always get that one right there now i have tried all the way up to the point the let's see is that a five comma uh five x traffic all right because that but what that does it's just a little bit more traffic inside your game all right now i've never tried this uh 1.5 traffic and so I'm scared I'm going to be like in a big city if I do something like that. Don't get me wrong, California is a big city, but um, but I don't want it overcrowded or anything like that. So what I get is perfect. So I get you no, know, I normally get the stock traffic means GTA base. Go ahead and get that one, and then right there is your uh, gameconfig.xml. That's the one you need right there. So you're going to left click, drag it down here to the open four. You may see a kil kilobyte change or you may not. But once you drop that in, um, that 90 becomes a 92 on my end. All right. So you may have more or you may have less. All right. Guys, ain't no sense of doing a uh, in-game showcase on this right here. But I do appreciate you all um, stopping by. Hope and help you all out any way, shape, form, or fashion when it comes to this game. You guys have a good one, and we will see you on the next one. And I am going, going, going. Peace out.